Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Smith Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video is episode two of our Let's Play series. And we're gonna be going over some new attack strategies and some more beginner tips before we move to Town Hall 3. So stay tuned to the end because we're gonna be going over a ton of valuable information. So if you haven't seen episode one, uh, check that out because it leads into this episode. I'll leave a link to that video in the top right corner. Uh, but before we get into the first tip, uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. We're so close to 100 subscribers and mean a lot if you guys could help me get one step closer. Now let's get into it. So since the last video, I actually did a couple upgrades. I ended up upgrading the army camp, the barracks, and a gold storage and elixir storage. And I like to upgrade these a little bit just because um, I always focus on offense first. Then after I finish the army camp or the barracks, I like to do the storages just because they help me upgrade uh, the other buildings faster. And the reason I did the army camps and the barracks first is because the army camps, when you upgrade them, you actually get the ability to get more troops in your army camps. That way you can deploy more troops in battle, help you win a little bit easier. And then as long as the barracks, uh, the more you upgrade it, the better and the more troops that uh, you can basically use. So what we're actually going to be using today is we're going to be using a new strategy. Last time I showed you guys Barch, Barbarians, and Archers. This time we're going to be using Giants. Uh, giants are a great frontline troop. Um, they primarily target defenses. After all defenses are destroyed, then they will start to uh, attack basically the other buildings such as electric storages, collectors, etc, etc. And yeah, so they're really mainly known for their tanking ability. And so they're great to use at the front line. So we're gonna go ahead and use this on a, on a base and see how it turns out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit this base. Let's go ahead, all right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the two giants right here on the cannon. And we're gonna use all the barbarians on these. Actually put that right there. And then I put all the barbarians right there. And then I put all the archers on that just so we can see how that works out. All right, so the barbarians are gonna be going in as well. The tank. And so the giants, as you can see, they automatically go for the defenses. So they're great to tank for your barbarians and archers. Um, so that way they can focus on destroying the other stuff. And that way the giants have all their attention. So this is definitely gonna look like a three star because after those barbarians get that gold collector, we're gonna be going and killing that cannon. Boom, so easy as that. So one of the main ways that you can use giants, and this is unlockable at Town Hall 3, so I, I recommend getting that as soon as possible, is just use them, put them down as that front line, let them tank for your barbarians and archers, and basically just let the other troops do the work while they have the attention of the defenses. Um, this troop is awesome. It's useful throughout all the town hall levels. It never gets old. And yeah, so this is a pretty quick pickup, pretty easy pickup, um, not too bad. So I should have some more troops trained up. So let's go ahead and do one more raid. Let's get that. All right, I think it's actually finishing. All right, we'll just go ahead and finish that up. So let's go ahead and look for a different base. Maybe the one that's a little bit harder. Um, this isn't too bad. Actually, 1400 gold, can't really go wrong with that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split the giants. I'm gonna put one on the cannon on the right, one on the left. And the reason being, is just because I'm gonna put all the archers on the archer tower. Uh, so that way I can basically just get the most value out of my troops. So one there, one there and then all five barbarians on each side. And then I'm gonna put boom, boom. And I'm just gonna throw an extra archer on the archer tower. So let's go ahead and see how this works out. Hopefully they get through that other cannon as well. This is looking good. As you can see, it really isn't that hard. Um, there's really not that much involved. It's really just like, all right, how can I balance out my Giants taking this and allow my troops to basically clean this up before they uh, before the Giants die So as you can see one of the Giants did fall but Everything else is doing well. This is definitely gonna be another three star 
So this is a really simple attack strategy, similar to Barge, but honestly even easier to win just because the Giants are so tanky. Um, yeah, so this is, I'm gonna go ahead and probably speed this up. And what I'm gonna be showing you guys next is something that is a great way to actually practice um, some new attacks. Maybe if you're new to attacking, you're not really familiar with some, how some of the troops work. And maybe you don't wanna lose the shield that you get granted when you uh, get attacked. And what that is, is actually uh, the single player missions. But first, let me go ahead and train some troops and I'll be right back. All right, so if you haven't checked this out, you probably did it in the tutorial. This is actually a great way to just check out some new attacks and just uh, get some free loot. As you can see, available loot, 1,000, 1,500. And yeah, so these bases typically aren't too hard in the beginning, but they definitely get harder later on in the game and as you progress through the map. So as you can see, pretty simple. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a giant on each side and then five barbarians. So as you can see, the giants are tanking. I'm gonna put five barbarians on each side and that should really be it. This is kind of a GG right there already. As you can see, this was really easy, this single player map. But I promise you, not only does the loot get increasingly better, so it's actually a great way to just Maybe if you need some extra money from walls or just an extra building, uh, check out the single player map. Or uh, it's just a great way to practice some new attacks, maybe if you're still like unfamiliar with attacking. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is there's not too much depth to Town Hall 2. It's a great Town Hall and I think it's a great way to start the game. But what we're gonna do to continue the Let's Play is we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to Town Hall 3. This adds a whole bunch of new, new elements to the game, some new troops, some new buildings, and I look forward to sp speaking with that, okay, excuse me, going through that with you guys and really just explaining the game more so that way I can be, help you guys be the best clashers possible, that way you guys can crush the game, crush the competition. So what we're going to go ahead is we're going to end it here. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe if you learned something. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.